Congratulations to all the immigrants who are still um, on their way or looking for a way to make it down to Europe, all right? So um, there has been a case going on in the court of um, Cassazione in Italy here, and it's about um, returning migrants to Libya, okay, that um, some people have claimed to have a safe port, all right? So now the highest court of Italy has ruled that it is illegal to return migrants back to the country, okay? Let's take a look at it. Italy's top court, handing over migrants to Libyan Coast Guard is illegal. Now, there was a case of a man who handed over migrants to um, the Libyan um, authorities, the Libyan Coast Guard, sometime in 2018. And they said that um, it was up to 101 migrants that he handed over to the, Italia, um, to the Libyan Coast Guard and they... Uh, returned them back and they disembarked in Tripoli. So the thing, the case has been in court since that time to this moment. Now that's what we are going to be looking at very quickly. Now they said Italy's highest, highest court, the Cassation Court, has ruled that handing over migrants to Libyan Coast Guard is unlawful because Libya does not represent um, a safe port. A sentence could have major repair cautions okay so they say that um, in libya does not have any safe port so therefore it is illegal to return immigrant that has been rescued on the mediterranean sea to libya okay so instead of going back they should be going forward which is europe all right now handing over migrant rescued in the central mediterranean to tripoli's coast guard is unlawful because libya is not a safe port and it is and its conduct is which goes against the navigation code. The Cassation, the Cassation Court ruled on February 17th that um, the code of conduct of the Libyan authorities, you know, does not tally with that of uh, um, Europe because of the treatment that migrants are receiving from the hands of the Libyan Coast Guard. And the way they truncate people and hide them and beat them, some of them use them to extort money from their families back home. That is why the Italian highest court is ruling that you cannot return migrants back to um, Libya. Okay, so that's a good one. Now, the decision upheld the conviction of the captain, listen, of the Italian private vessel, ASO 28 which on July 30, 2018, rescued 101 immigrant individuals in the central Mediterranean and then handed them over to the Libyan Coast Guard to be returned to Libya. Do you see where this case has been in court since 2018? Okay, so the, the man who returned these migrants or gave them to the Libyan Coast Guard, you know, he's somebody who doesn't really want them to make it to Europe. So instead of going back to um, hand them over to the Italian government, he rather went back to Libya and gave it to them. So the thing caused a lot of uproar and a lot of um, these uh, um, rescue operators, non-governmental organizations took the case to court. And the thing has been lingering since that time. Now, they say the Supreme Court judges ruled in sentence number 4557 that facilitating the interception of migrants and refugees by the Libyan Coast Guard falls under the crime of abandonment in the state of danger of minors or incapacitated people and arbitrary disembarkation and abandonment of people. This ruling effectively characterizes the 2018 incident as collective reformment to a country not considered safe, contravening the European Convention of Human Rights. Now, because of this uh, very action, the non-governmental organizations announced class action lawsuit. Beyond its political implications, the Cassation's decision could significantly impact ongoing legal proceedings, including administrative actions. NGOs have announced um, a class action lawsuit against the government 
the interior minister and the Italy Libya memorandum. Remember that Italy has been, you know, facilitating the rescue of immigrants by the Libyan Coast Guard. Okay, sometimes you realize that the Libyan Coast Guard always have a clash with the non-governmental organizations that rescue people and bring them to Europe. Okay. Now, the case which was first examined by the tribunals of Napoli focuses on the intervention of a trawler, a support ship for a platform, to rescue 101 migrants who were on a boat that had departed from Africa's coast. According to investigators, the ship's commander was asked by personnel on the rig to take um, on board a Libyan citizen, described as a Libyan custom official, who suggested selling to Libya and disembarking the rescued migrants. You see, the Supreme Court judges said the defendant omitted to immediately communicate before starting rescue operations and after completing them to the Centers of Coordination and Rescue Services of Tripoli and the IMROCC, which is Italian Maritime Rescue Coordination Center of Rome, in the absence of a reply by the first that the migrants had been rescued and were under his charge. The Court of Cassation ruled that by operating in this way, the commander violated procedures provided by the International Convention for Safety of Life at Sea, SOLAS, and by the directives of International Maritime Organization, thus carrying out a collective reformant to a port deemed unsafe like Libya. So returning migrants to Libya has um, caused this man um, a lot of um, issues since 2018. Now, the furthermore, the cassation emphasized the commander's obligation to ascertain whether the migrant wanted to apply for asylum and conduct necessary checks on accompanying minors. Okay. So, that is it. Now, they say that Italy has never coordinated and handed over to Libya migrant rescued in operations coordinated uh, or directly carried out by Italy Interior Minister Matteo Piantedosi said on February 19th, when asked to comment the Cassation's ruling, this, that, sent, that sentence must be read well. Sentences should never be interpreted in a political or ideological manner, he said. Piantedosi contextualized the ruling within the circumstances prevailing in Libya at the time, citing efforts to assist Libya with EU cooperation. He highlighted the government's adherence to principles governing repatriation activities and concluded by saying there can be no spontaneity and that coordination is essential. So um, the uh, Italian interior minister did not completely agree with the um, court of uh, Cassazione in Italy. He said that um, they should not interpret all this uh, maritime rescue with ideology or politically you know it should be away from that so that um, their stance can be um, neutral in what they are uh, putting into judgment so that is um, just it but the good thing is that the court of cassation in um, italy has ruled that no migrant will be returned to libya after they must have been rescued okay so the case has been in court if the other way it has gone the other way that means that people would have been returned if they were to be rescued on the Mediterranean Sea, if Libya was to be a safe port. So you know that Libya is not a safe country. That's the reason why. So drop your comment and share. Thank you.